Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with Player Select Gaming, and we're back playing some more Minecraft. And today, um, we're going to do a couple different things. First, we're going to take a look at our little cell we have for the Iron Golems. Oh, I decided to put another row of stairs on the top, and I think it looks a lot better. And you can see, I spread these out, um, so that way, there we go. Um, it will distribute evenly, that way we won't have like chest, roses, chest, or chest, iron, roses, iron, iron, roses, roses, or something like that. And that way it's a little bit more organized. And I like the way it looks right now. Uh, this, oh, there comes one right now. We'll watch. <laughs> so they're pretty tough. They are pretty tough. So right there we got four in that one. And so, yeah, they drop down there, vroom, splash, into the lava. And it's uh, not terribly fast, but, you know, if I sit here AFK for a while, I'll build up a decent amount. And so that is working very swimmingly. I have some plans for over here. I want to put in a chicken farm over here. Um, I looked at uh, some of the designs out there, automatic chicken farms. I saw one from JL. I saw one from Zizuma. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's the same one that they... It's kind of the same thing, but it's a little bit different. Uh, but um, I got to work... I got to do some more tests in a creative world because I, I make it. And what it does is you have a hopper, a half slab, and then you have chickens on the half slab. And when they grow up, there's lava in the space above them. And when they grow up, they're supposed to grow up, burn, and their drops drop into the hopper. But when I do my testing, all the drops get burnt up by the lava. And so I installed like a quick pulse kind of thing on the side, and that kind of helps it because it brings the lava in and out really quick. But it's not supposed to do that. It's not supposed to burn them with the lava just sitting there all the time. It's supposed to work perfectly fine. So I don't know if it's a problem on my end that I'm not doing something right, or if it got broken in 1.6.2. Um, this is not 1.6.4, I haven't updated yet. I'm just gonna stick it out in 1.6.2 for a while, um, just because really, I don't think anything's really updated. Um, some generation stuff was fixed, I think, and things like stuff for villages and witch huts, which maybe I should upgrade, I don't know. We'll see. But I also have been working with some trading and trying to get it's why is it always almost night whenever I go to record trying to get the axe from the blacksmith I never found my axe and so um, I had a pop-up right there I never actually found my axe and so I just made a new one and I had an efficiency two efficiency two books that I just put together and made efficiency three and just made a new one whoa and so let's go down here Hmm, they all say. Time to trade, boys. Maybe I will get the axe. Pretty sure we do not have it. Go through. No diamond axe. Yeah, the last thing is the diamond pick that we have here. And he needs a book. Because he is not happy with... He's he already used up all his other trades. Sign. Give to him. What? Wait a minute. He got a new trade? What? When did that happen? Well, it looks like this guy really isn't as useful anymore. That guy has the iron trade on the first slot. Well, we can trade with this guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you're loving it, aren't you? And I just, I'd like to get the diamond axe. That's really the only thing that I need in terms of trading, in terms of equipment. Ah, I don't want to do that. What's that? Oh, it's just a book. Um, yeah, I guess we can trade this to this guy too. Yeah, mm-hmm. So we have six emeralds. I definitely need to do a lot more work with the trading. And this is the XP guy, I think. Yeah, the sharpest two sword guy and our XP guy. And so I tried to get him in here, but it just didn't work. Things happen. I don't even know what happened. And so 
I need to make my way back to the house because I want to make a cactus farm. But I do not want to be building during the night. So we're going to go take a nap. I'm just going to build a small cactus farm. It's not going to be anything fancy. And really, I think it's just the best way we can actually make a cactus farm. There's no way to get a cactus farm. I don't think there's a way to get a cactus farm that is like 100% efficient. Because cactus can break drops that it lands on. Like if a drop lands on a cactus, it will break. And so let's get rid of these and we can use the sand that the that these have. What's the official way to harvest a cactus? Is it axe or is it pick? Go away. But if see if you go like this, bam, it destroys it, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but you really can't do it. But it also makes for a nice garbage area if you do not like um, using lava for garbage for like a item burner thing. And so lately I've been playing a lot on the Overcast network, playing a lot of Project Arace, Arace, I don't even know how you say it. Last night we had seriously one of the most epic battles of all time. The battle was a monument battle where you have to go and destroy the other team's monuments. Um, they destroyed uh, our first one in like 30 seconds. And I was like, good job, team. You know, we're really going to win this one. And then an hour later, we win. It was just absolutely nuts. I mean, it, it really was crazy. We dug out like a perimeter for our core and we half slapped it. That way they couldn't jump and build blocks up to the core. We took out some of the water around it. That way it was just a void. And it was, it was pretty crazy. And so we're actually going to need some iron. Because this will take hoppers. I guess I could just do this. Boop. I'm not sure how much or how many hoppers we have. Also, I have included this bottom door here. That way it's much quicker to get to... Oof, yeah, don't want to fall in there. That way it's much quicker to get to my house. And the hoppers aren't in here. Did I put them where I want to make the chicken house? I think that I did. Well, look at all these blocks of iron. I didn't know I had that many. I might need to take them. I don't know how many hoppers I'll need. I don't I don't plan to use a ton. Also, hmm. I don't have a lot of stone still. I mean, I guess I do actually. Not a lot of cobble. I have a lot of regular stone. Um I've seen people use fence posts to do this, and so let's we can try doing that. We'll see what happens. And you need the sand, because they have to grow on sand. And I'm just trying to think where I want to put this. Um, hmm. I guess we can just, like, set it right here. I really don't know a good place for it. It doesn't really need a lot of space. I, I just really don't know what a... I know what I'm doing, I just don't know where I really want it. I mean, hmm, this is a hard decision. A cactus farm. It's not going to be huge. Maybe I'll have it. What's going on? What's going on up here? We have some room up here to work with. I mean, I just don't want cactus just sticking out in the middle. That's why I kind of wanted it on the perimeter of something. Maybe I will. Hmm. I don't want it like, extremely far away, but then again, we really don't use cactus that often. Maybe we'll build it over here. That'll give us a reason to build a bridge over to this little area over here. Because we need to start building some more spaces and expanding our territory. And so let's just build it over here, I guess. Where's the dirt? I will need you, dirt. Um, let's clear out another row. But yeah, the Project Ares, that match, was just great. I mean... I've been practicing a lot of my bow skills. Um, I'm not really... I mean, I don't know. I'm good at stuff like Blitz Survival and PvP. Like, I'm good on one-on-one -on -one situations if I have um, the same armor or better. But where I struggle is when somebody has better armor than me or when there's more than one person. Because I've seen some people, 
they take out like two guys and they have no problem whatsoever doing it. And it's just like, oh dang, I am not at that point. And so what I've been really focusing on is another week's part, um, at least a week, not part, but like something I'm not as good at, which is uh, working with a bow. And I think I've definitely improved since I've started playing. And, you know, it's, it's a fun, it's a fun time. Okay. Let's just do, let's just try this and see what happens. They cannot be touching each other. They're, they're so like finicky that it's ridiculous. Um, now I just got to think of a way to, okay. I think I got this. But yeah, I don't know if I want to make videos about the Project Ares server or not because it's it's kind of it's like weird because matches can last anywhere from a minute to over an hour. Uh, that one there lasted just right around an hour because I asked, "Gee whiz, has it been an hour yet?" And someone's like, "Oh, it's only been 40 minutes." And I know it was at least 20 minutes later until um, we won. And oh man, it was great. I w I wish. I would have recorded it, but I mean, I wouldn't upload the whole thing. You guys don't want to watch an hour long video, but I just thought it was really, really cool. Okay. Let's head over here and get some hoppers, but let me know if you guys want to see some project area stuff. There's a lot of different uh, types of matches. There's matches where it's like PVP, just go all out and fight each other team versus team. And there's a time limit and you know, whoever has the most points at the end of that time limit wins. But there's also, is there another crafting table in there? No, but there's wood and I need that. But there are also games where you have to go to the other team's side, go into a, a place where like that's guarded off that has wool. Um, and there are, your own team can't enter in your own wool base. And so you go, you gotta get past the other team, go grab their wool and, um, and then make it to your team's side with the wool in hand and put it inside like a pedestal area where this was silly. I shouldn't have done it like this. I should have done this first. <laughs> Not wait till I was done to place all the hoppers. Okay, I think all the spaces have hoppers. Oh, uh, there's... Yeah, I said about the ones with the wool. Um, there's ones where you have to go break somebody, the other team's core, and when there's lava in it, it's made of obsidian. And once it breaks, um, the team wins. And then there's ones with the monuments, which are two uh, obsidian monuments that are just two obsidian on top of each other. And um, whoop. actually, what am I doing? I'm having trouble right now. And if you break their monuments, you win. And so, oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough stuff. I know I'm not. Hmm, but it's really fun. If you haven't tried it out, I would suggest trying it out. They have two servers. They have a US server and they have a um, Europe. That's, that's what that place over there is called. They have a European server. And this is gonna be interesting to try to connect these I should have placed the hoppers before I put in the sand. Yeah, that was stupid. I'm gonna work on this a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're getting ready to make these hoppers. 30 hoppers, mm, I don't think that'll be enough. Need to make a few more. And then we should be, what am I doing? I need to make, chess <laughs> oh yeah 38 I think will be enough I hope so boop, 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 okay three 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 perfect okay that should be enough hoppers I just had to what is up with you nighttime no, don't want, to, don't want to do that. Oh, well, we're still going to build. I'm not afraid of the night. Uh, oh, man, the bow. Dang. 
that bow is kind of a uh, dying on us. So we'll have to fix that up soon. Oh gosh, I didn't light any of that up over there either. Well, we're going to light it up right now. We're going to get over there before anything spawns. And so, just let me know if you guys want to see some Project Array stuff. Because I think it was fun. And it's... I would have to be more of an edited video unless it was very fast paced. Um, because you can do two... You can play the game two ways. You can play defensive or you can play on the offensive. And I, I like the... I don't know. I hate it when I die, but you have unlimited lives, really, until until the game ends, which is one of the nice things compared to Blitz. And, oh my gosh, the mobs are everywhere. But, you know, sometimes, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that I need some food. Sometimes it's just hard to just sit and watch the whole recording, so it needs to be edited together. Because if you're playing, like, defense, it's not always exciting. Boop. But if you're playing offense, like if you're rushing, you know, that's pretty exciting usually. Usually. Okay. I really probably don't need hoppers everywhere, but I'm going to just put them everywhere. <laughs> going to put them everywhere anyways. And these should all just... They should all funnel two that last hopper over on the side should should is the magic word okay dirt they should all flow right to here yep they do okay so this one i need to put a chest here i'm using up a lot of my spruce wood i really don't like doing that i like using Okay, XP. I like using other types of wood. Get out of here, zombie flesh. For this. But... Because I just think, you know, the other woods are... Other woods. Uh, the other wood is much easier to just get, I guess. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Now, if we do this, we should be good that way whenever the stuff falls in the hoppers it goes to the next level below and everything did I have no okay and I have to build a wall around this too because some might fly out the side but let's first do we need to Okay, these will be right here, but if you place a block beside it, go bam, they'll just explode. And so what we need to do also is put them one block higher, because what we're doing is going with the functionality of the cactus, that it will grow, but once it grows too, uh, too high, if there's a block that is beside it, um, it will automatically break off. And so we're going to use fence posts. Whoop, 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 whoop. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. And get rid of all this. No, do not do that. We do not want that to happen. This will be interesting. Navigating this fence posted area. This will be this will be nice, and it'll be automatic too. That's the thing. It'll be fully automatic. We won't ever have to do anything. We'll just have to come over here to where the chests are and harvest. And so now that we have all that done, let's see. I can't place it here because it's already there, but the cactus will grow. And w at least it's supposed to because other people have done this. And it will grow. And when it grows, as soon as it grows, it'll go up and fall down into the hopper. And like I said, it's not 100% efficient because some drops might fall onto other cactus or cacti, if you will. Which causes issues, obviously. Oh, I hear zombies. Oh, look, they don't even care about me. Oh, you want to give me a hug? Thanks, buddy. You can go have the villagers. And so, let's just get up here and take a look. 
that is it. That is the cactus farm. And I might make it bigger. I don't know. We'll see. But now we have something built over here. And we need to build a shell for it. We'll have to bring the hopper out a little bit further. Or something. Or maybe we should have... Maybe we'll take some land out. And that way it's kind of floating in the air. Um, I'm not sure yet. But I like to have the chest at face level. I should have maybe built it up a little bit. But we can always dig this out. And I want to use clay blocks for the surrounding and for the building of it. Um, definitely use some green clay blocks. And maybe some black wool maybe. To make it like a cactus building. But we'll see. And so that's probably going to wrap it up for this video. Oh my gosh. Look at all these guys. They love the villagers. And so hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. And let me know about the over... Oh yeah. Let me know about the whole overcasting. If you guys want to see some episodes from that. Or episodes of that, I should say. Oh my gosh. They're everywhere. Get out of here. Um, let me know down in the comment section below. Or you can always tell me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. All those links are down in the description below as well. And just check out some of the other videos here on the channel. And... I just want to say thank you guys for all of your great support. I'm loving the little community that is on my channel, commenting on all the videos, talking to each other, and just having a good conversation. And I almost forgot the question of the day. <laughs> oh, man. I, I remembered it the very last second. And so the question of the day is, it was another Minecraft-themed question. And the question of the day is, what is your non... Wait, what is, what is your non... What is your favorite non-building item in Minecraft? So it could be a weapon. It could be um, a tool, like the hopper, uh, a pick, a bow, um, a torch, stake. If I had to pick a favorite, um, oh man, that actually is really hard for me to choose. A favorite non-building item in the game. For me, it'd either have to be the bow or the sword because I am all about the fighting. And I love my I love me a good bow. And I'm definitely getting better with the bow. And so that might just be like my choice right now because I'm just playing with the bow more in PvP servers and just practicing up. But I think right now, my favorite non-building block or non-building item in Minecraft, look at all the XP, would have to be the bow. And so let me know what your guys' is. I said your guys' is again. That's a Pennsylvania thing. Let me know what your favorite non-building item is in Minecraft down in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Check out all the social links. They're all in the description below as well. Stay tuned for more videos, and we'll see you guys in the next one.